against former President Trump. The 49 page document unsealed tonight laying out the 37 criminal counts alleging Trump knowingly retained classified material in boxes stored in bedrooms, bathrooms, even a ballroom at his Mar-a-Lago estate. Shortly before the details were made public, Trump was spotted golfing in New Jersey just as his legal team was crumbling. Two of his attorneys have already stepped down days before he's expected to face those historic federal charges right here in South Florida. Local sense Janine Stanwood leads off our team coverage live outside the courthouse in Miami, the epicenter of this unprecedented case. Janine. An unprecedented federal indictment against a former United States president and all eyes are on South Florida. As night falls on the federal courthouse in Miami, where former President Donald Trump is expected on Tuesday, where media has descended and security will be tight, more details about the stunning indictment just unsealed. 37 counts alleging the former commander-in-chief willfully retained highly classified documents containing some of the country's most sensitive secrets. He refutes that. I'm innocent and we will prove that very, very soundly. We have one set of laws in this country and they apply to everyone. This is special counsel Jack Smith, and these are photos from that indictment, showing boxes stored in a ballroom, a storage room, even a bathroom in Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence. Allegations Trump showed the documents to others on two occasions, like military maps and Pentagon plans, and allegations he enlisted aides and attorneys to help hide the records. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical the safety and security of the United States, and they must be enforced. Sources tell ABC News there's audio from 2021 when he admits to taking classified records after he left the White House, allegedly saying, as president, I could have declassified, but now I can't. For months, the National Archives and the former president were locked in a battle over whether records were returned as required. A judge then authorizing an FBI search of Mar-a-Lago, turning up more than 100 classified documents, even after Trump's attorneys said they were all returned. As for the scene here in Miami, law enforcement is getting ready. Miami police say they will, quote, work cohesively with our local, state, and federal partners to provide any assistance needed in the form of personnel, resources, detours, and or road closures. We're committed to protecting everyone's First Amendment right. Legal experts say on Tuesday they believe that Mr. Trump will be given some special treatment. He will likely be fingerprinted and processed behind closed doors and then eventually taken up here to the federal courthouse to the 13th floor where he'll make his first appearance at 3 p.m. And we'll be here. We're in Miami. I'm Janine Sandwood, Local 10 News.